In her debriefing, Dr. Damascu informed us that Poseidon is a secret laboratory where Malprave develops her clone replicants. However, Poseidon's location remains a mystery. That information was on the data chip stolen by Malprave's henchmen. Dr. Damascu installed a micro beacon on the data chip, but it requires a special locator to read its signal. R has delivered a suitable tracking device to the local train station for your immediate retrieval. Our satellite reconnaissance indicates the helicopter pilot jettisoned the chip somewhere in the city before his damaged craft was destroyed. Malpre's men will undoubtedly be looking for it, so you must recover it as quickly as possible. Once you have the chip, you'll need to deliver it to R's field office on the other side of the river. From it, he shall be able to discern the location of Poseidon. Good luck, 007. And here is another vehicle stage. I believe this one is also on on rails. But this time, wait for it. 007. The data chip has been or maybe we are in a car. I guess I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Oh, I know this mission. This one can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Because you need to fly over the certain jump and you have very strict timing for when you can boost over it. Because if you don't do it right then, you're going to fall into water and die. And you have to start the whole mission over again. Yeah, this is actually the halfway point of the game. We're 50% done already, and we haven't done much. <laughs> One final attack, you say? No problem, said the Bond. No, I think I'm taking a little more damage than I should be. Oh well, I guess I can... Slow it down ever so slightly. Yeah, I spent a lot more time on this stage than our other driving stage. And did I completely miss that armor? Well, I'm not going back for it. Actually, I am because the way I need to go is... It's still going around past it. That's funny as hell. <laughs> On, turn out of the way cars let's use some rocket power shall we if I can find something to shoot oh here's an enemy the flashing beacon on your GPS map indicates the position of the this is used a missile can hit much better with it. Oh no. Oh no. Taking that helicopter down easy. Alright, I'm missing something around here. There it is, that's what I'm looking for. Well done, 007. Now go find Did I gain ship. some health back there? Oh, I'm not complaining. Alright, this stage... You know what, I might have been getting the stage mixed up with our first on rail stage. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking of anymore. Um... That's new. 
Now back up. Just back up and die. That's something that's never happened to me before, I must say. Alright, we're coming up across another enemy. And it's another counter. It was another counter. Oh yeah, stuff like that we're gonna see more of. Especially with all the debris around town now. Thanks to my less than stellar driving record. This is one of the most tense, but also... It's imperative you get that device to me for decoding as soon as possible. Less interesting stages. Those guys, you have long stretches of time. Woohoo! We're just driving with nothing happening. I've left you something that should give you a boost. Q booster, we're gonna need this. Right now. Jump is very difficult to make. That indicates that Malpreys men are swarming out there. Exercise extreme caution. I found just the thing. Oh no, I wasn't misremembering anything. Sort of. I just didn't think this just was the same stage. So yeah. We don't have a car, we have a tank. It has all sorts of weaponry. If I can see where I'm aiming. <laughs> Or who's shooting at me? Come on. Alright, now where'd you guys go? Really? I'm here in a tank and you're just trying to take pot shots at me? What do you think is gonna happen? You guys are pathetic. I have all the crap had to do if you get my way in the car. This is almost cathartic release. Take it down! Yeah! Got the chain gun and the cannon. And a miss. Oh, there's another one of those copters. Let's use the cannon on it. Hello? Oh. Oh, I can't even aim that high. That's cool crap. There's no one up there behind me, so it's... Gotta be this flying asshole. There we go. I know that Bond now looks younger in the cutscene. Is this intentional or was this model made further in development or something? Or maybe it was just whatever lighting they used in that scene. You know, from the start of the game where I complained where how he looked old. When I complained, I just sort of observed it. Do -do -do. Yeah, it's a nice looking moon, I must say. Come on. That's actually gonna help a lot. Gets rid of this guy. 
Is it easier to take out this guy? Or these flying bitches are not being nice to what I need to be done. Come on. There we go. Honestly, how much damage do you think they're gonna do to this tank? I can hear a helicopter flying. I hear it. You know, my first experience with this game was not by trying to play it in the practice run. Seven, we've learned that Malcrave's men have commandeered a supply train. I've actually seen it on AGDQ one night. Now is a very entertaining thing to watch. I think the Bowser Brothers might have done this once as well, but I'm not sure. If it was this one. I know they did do a 007 game once. So my memories of that playthrough there is just pretty vague. It might have been this, it might have been something different. I've been meaning to check that out and find out what they were playing. Ever since I started this. It's just one of those things that hasn't happened. Boom! Ah, look at that great explosion. That'd be perfect for Star Fox. R is waiting for you. Or burnout. Smashing entrance, wouldn't you say? No, I wouldn't, 007. I've recovered the chip. With a bit of your handiwork, it should tell us the location of Malprave's secret lab. We'll leave that job in Zed's capable hands. Very capable indeed. Oh, I don't like the way you're looking at her. I think he's thinking of different capabilities than our scientist was. Alright. This mission is a little longer than I thought it was. And I actually finished it under time for once. It's pretty amazing. Alright now, this has been Jargus Gaming. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you for mission number 8. Until then, take care.